chronic absenteeism is defined by the state as a student who misses more than 10% of school or 19 days over an entire school year. It's not just a barrier to student learning. It can also be illegal. I mean, our goal is to get the kids in school. That's what our goal is. Our goal isn't necessarily to criminalize anyone, but sometimes to get the kids in school, you got to go to a courtroom. According to state law, a student is considered truant when they miss more than 20% of the school days without a legal reason or 37 days over an entire school year. Parents can be fined $50 a day or receive three days in jail on a first offense. Baltimore County State's attorney, Scott Schellenberger, says his office is seeing an increase in truancy cases. No, there is no easy solution. We don't like prosecuting. Judges don't like putting in jail. And even if you do put in jail, the hammer is not very big. Uh, and in fact, it is not much of an incentive at all um, when it comes to sending the kids to school. Throughout Maryland, students not attending class is a growing problem. In 2019, 19% of students statewide were considered chronically absent. By 2021, it jumped to 22%. And the school system in the Baltimore region seeing the largest increase is Baltimore County. You know, you can see the chronic absenteeism getting worse over the quarters. The Baltimore County School Board has recognized this is a significant problem that's getting worse. There are uh, lots of research to support attendance and a correlation with academic achievement. In Baltimore County, overall attendance is dropping. From 2017 to 2020, the attendance rate held steady around 93%. In 2021, it fell to 90%. In the fourth quarter of the last school year, it was down again to 88%. And that is translating into much higher rates of chronic absenteeism, especially among elementary school students. From 2017 to 2020, chronic absenteeism in Baltimore County elementary schools remained relatively unchanged, around 14%. But in 2021, it spiked to 22%. And last school year, chronic absenteeism in elementary schools spiked again to more than 30%. According to the data, over the past two years, the number of Baltimore County elementary school students considered chronically absent has more than doubled. So what is BCPS doing about it? Superintendent Dr. Dara Williams will not interview with us. Instead, his office sent us a short statement about what many consider to be a major problem. BCPS's statement blamed the COVID pandemic, saying it had a significant impact on student absenteeism. The district gave no specifics, but said it implemented strong preventative measures concerning COVID, along with specific and strategic support to students and families. And as a result, BCPS has experienced a substantial decrease in chronic absenteeism this school year. Right. Schellenberger says to avoid a courtroom filled with truancy cases, his office works closely with the school system's pupil personnel workers to find parents and get their children to class. He told Fox 45 he doesn't blame COVID for the rise in chronic absenteeism because for all of last school year, the students were learning in person. He's not sure what is to blame, but he knows the numbers need to come down. It's incredibly important that kids are in school, uh, particularly those elementary school children who, who are missing so much because that sets you back literally for the rest of your life. I'm Chris Pabst and this is Project Baltimore.